In this video, I want to talk about adding an automatic zip code lookup capability into your CRM or contact database. Now the reason, of course, I would find this interesting is that we have FM Starting Point, which is, of course, a very free, popular CRM for the FileMaker platform. So the other day, someone was showing me a demo of this free service called Zipopotamus. Now, Zipotamus is an interesting take on the word zip and hippopotamus and you come up with a clever name for a startup company. What we actually have is a demo file in FileMaker that talks to this online service to actually look up the city and the state based upon a zip code that you put into it. It's pretty cool. Now Zipotamus works with all sorts of countries worldwide. In fact they have a countries list right here. Now the rub with the way Zipotamus works is that you actually have to put the country into the country field before you put the zip code in before it'll work. Now of course that was kind of a hassle so for the United States and Canadian users we've actually pre-set up our demo file over here to know whether you're actually looking at a US or Canadian zip code. So it actually pre-populates the country either US or CA for Canada and that way we pass that to Zipotamus with the zip code during the transaction. So real simple, this is a three record database, it doesn't really matter what it is, it can be uh, one record, I can just make it one record right here. Uh, let's change this to 95945 and say look up. And that's Grass Valley, California, one of the places where I grew up in my youth many years ago. And of course this Grass Valley information here was not actually in the database. This request went out using a script here that we're going to show you out to the free Zipotamus server, did a quick lookup, and brought the information back. Now I can show you how this works real quick. There's actually only two scripts in here of any relevancy. There's only really one field uh, that you have to define. You have this global text field right here that you have to define. And these are pretty simple fields right here. And you call this script right here. And this script right here basically says, oh don't forget you're going to have to send us a script parameters, which are a return delimited set of parameters. Pretty straightforward. And then it runs this script right here. Now we put some additional code in here up front to determine if we had a Canadian or US zip code and in that way we could jump ahead without entering the country. Now if you want this to work in the United Kingdom or in France or in South America somewhere, you're going to play with these scripts a little bit or make sure that you input the country code in advance. But the point of this video is to expose you to this and show you a working demo and maybe get you going and adding this to your own database. It's pretty cool. Now the bottom line is that this whole system uses the insert from URL. We've used insert from URL to talk to a lot of third-party services. And what happens is that Zimpotamus sends back that data to our global text field and it loads it into here. Of course once it's in here we parse it apart using some other scripts. Now we have a number of training videos that talk about parsing scripts apart and other topics like that so if you're interested in learning about that feel free to get into our FileMaker Pro training series and learn some additional things under the hood that'll make you a much better developer or power user. So that being said we decided to wire this into FM Starting Point. Now one of the concerns I have about a service like this is that the service is effectively free. Um, Zipotamus is a open source kind of a volunteer effort it would seem like. Um, it's not really clear on who runs it or what they're doing. It says it's under new management and of course we can click that and read about the new management etc like that. Uh, they've been relaunched and they're getting a stable server and thanks to Samir and Jeff whoever those people are. Well thanks to Jeff and Samir we really appreciate it. The question is is that if it's not being paid for or funded then how reliable is it going to be? Well a lot of people use this and it seems to be fairly stable and reliable but I always have in the back of my mind one of those concepts that you get what you pay for in most cases and that of course works with a lot of things especially ongoing services. Now if you download something like FM Starting Point that's free well it's a one-time thing and there's of course no guarantees that you'll get new free feature updates. Now we have been supporting FM Starting Point for like four years and it's been a great success for us so we plan on doing that. But in the back of my mind, I always understand that these people are not charging for this and I make my money another way, but these people, mm, I'm not sure how they make their money. 
it makes me concerned that the service might not be there someday. So what we did is when we built it in FM Starting Point down here in Preferences, this is a new version that will be coming out shortly, if it's not already out by the time you watch this video, is that we have this option right here which is use eponymous yes or no. When we ship it, by default, it's going to be set to no. Okay. Now, why is this a concern? Well, if for some reason the Zipotamus service becomes unavailable, you're going to run into a situation where you're going to type the zip code and FileMaker will tend to just hang and spin. And you'll get this spinning uh, beach ball or dialogue while FileMaker attempts over the course of a minute or two to talk to Zipotamus. We cannot easily set that time out. So in an ideal situation, you'd give Zipotamus five seconds to respond. If it didn't respond, you just continue on and the person would have to input the city and state on their own. But FileMaker doesn't give us those kinds of controls, at least not yet. So what we've done is we put a preference setting in here where you can just turn the thing on and off. It ships in its default configuration with a no setting, which is off. If you want it turned on, you can click this right here and then go back to contacts. And as you type in a zip code, you're going to get the functionality to work. Now as I clicked that and I clicked out, there was a slight delay. Well, what the system is doing, it has two things enabled. The mapping system is enabled, which causes FileMaker to look up the Latin long coordinates at the time you exit the zip code. It also ran the Zipotamus code. So just keep that in mind. If you want more information about these kinds of things or managing FM starting point, then I recommend you check out our FileMaker Pro training course at learningfilemaker.com. It's really great. And if you want to play with FM Starting Point, of course, you can download a free copy anytime at fmstartingpoint.com.